Rwanda's first digital fabrication lab was launched on May 12th at the Telecom House in Kigali. This was aimed at production of materials digitally by use of softwares. We caught up with some of the students and the organizers for more details. Please tell us your name and the project you're doing here. Okay, so my name is Robert Mugisha and I work here at KLab in Fab Lab. Software is being developed, but I'm now doing fabric. Here I'm just trying to print some words on a t-shirt. As you see, uh, these are just colors that, that we are using. We are trying to, to make a, a Fab Lab logo, which is printed over here. Yeah, but we make, we're putting colors. We're putting colors. This is just black and white. Now we are trying to add the, the actual colors of Fab Lab on the t-shirt, like blue, green, and red. Yeah, and that, that's about it. So how does this connect with the technology of the computer, using the computer? Okay, so to develop this, you need this, these kinds of words to be printed on the t-shirts. And to have this, this is not done by hand. This is, we have this, that tool over there, which help us to print the words that we want to print, exactly. And once printed, you put it on the t-shirt and it shows like, in the perfect way, like better than the work made by hand. That's why you can see this is more clean and... Like this microcontroller, what it does with these circuits, it detect, these ones are the electric pins. They are put inside the soil, then when there is, they are constantly detecting the humidity in the soil. Then after that, they, the, when there is something like an emergency state, this LED does lights up, then says it, there is a problem in the soil. It's too light. Yeah. They, then you can add something like a, GM, a GSM shield to send like an SMS to the authorities in case it's... it's oh, so yeah. like the message can be yeah. directed? Yeah, directly, without like having to process the information. Just in case the device knows that it's an emergency case, it sends the SMS. Hi, how are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm great. Great. Uh, please tell us your name and what you do and tell us briefly about FabLab. Okay. Uh, my name is Jamie Severson and I work for the Center for Bits and Atoms at MIT. We're here today to deploy Rwanda's first Fab Lab. Uh, Fab Labs are a part of an international organization. There's over 1,000 now in the world and, and uh, what they do is they provide fabrication tools for students and the community so that people can uh, learn STEM education and prototype and uh, learn design and uh, work on innovations and products that can help themselves and com their communities. Wow, that's exciting. So how do, how do you think the runners are going to benefit from this? Now it's the first time. And what are you expecting? Uh, I've seen, so we've been here for about a week and a half to two weeks now setting up the lab and training students how to use the equipment. And I have seen so much excitement out of people, especially being next door to K-Lab. There's so many people who have software training and experience, and now they have the hardware to really help themselves with their startups and their businesses. Uh, so I think that the, it'll be really great for the students to um, be able to design and maybe solve some of the problems that they experience within their communities and maybe create products that would be helpful um, for them and for um, making a difference. Uh, give us examples of, of uh, products that are being produced uh, using the machines that will help the entrepreneurs. For example, farmers. How is a farmer going to gain from this? Right. Well, as you've probably seen earlier, uh, the water sensor that some of the students have developed during, during their training the last few days. Um, so that water sensor will be able to help farmers maybe sense when they need to water certain crops and may, maybe so that they would save time also and water resources. Watering uh, if they were to water things that didn't need water. So that's one problem that the students identified here in Rwanda that could uh, that could help and, and make a difference. So, so yeah, it's interesting to see the students come up with ideas um, about how they feel like they can impact their own communities. And that's it from K Lab at the Fab Lab room. Uh, we hope this is going to be helpful to the young entrepreneurs out there. And please come and check this out. It's awesome. Thank you for watching. I'm Oera Chantal, Rise and Shine Randa.